Abusi ya memuwa kwa ba, edo ba Abuto TV show. Wada roma, sa on subscribe ya, nwa bomo di, nwa subscribe ya. Nwa do komenta tuwa si ya honomo, yibishi ya honomo, yedi nkomo. Bomo di, sa obe chef sa video we na afofro, etimi, anhunu di. Na, onabo, akumpre kum, e Japon, kanedi. Chese, onse, contesti ba asui, uwiye ye, obedina platform, so, e kanse, se nena, ope contest na, ana, eye ye, no, na, e free and fair pa, afe, ye wiye ye na asa man fo speculate o ba radio bi a ewo kuma se akuma fm o ma kan bi ama na ba muda nti o man se december 4 uh, honorable canada japan e ba ba ye press conference bi a che se nya asem ketwa ene ye nsem ewo mu ne ye bi e ebi mu kra so ba ba ko independent ne ade ye ebi nim so o ba ba join alan e party no eno ana honorable canada ya kompre ko japan aba abontin ana wodi aba tu dwa se da bi o woda so ye mpp ni we shunya diye, ewo contest ya oko ye, we shunya diye umu, ni mu mdiye wawo ken, na wafya anese, amamfo, emo mpaye mpama, nene, ya me ya duma, obe samba, na wabani biye mu, a, eye gidi gidi, opa bine sopa, eye nyase mketuwa, yentiye diye, ewo kan waha. Good evening, and good to be back, so, my soul, six years ago, I was here, and I really enjoyed myself, um, let me take this opportunity first to thank my brother and his wife and my good friend, Mr. Abu. And also, again, thank the Team Ken US. Team Ken US. They, they never gave up on me and we share my vision. They did more than I expected. I say a big thank you to the team. Thank you, Miss. Again, Navadam Ayashim, the Reverend Ministers, MPP, Minnesota, my good friends from Minnesota, Dakota, and North Dakota, Chicago, New York, I mean, Pennsylvania, I know you are all here, Ohio, you are all here out of love. I want to say a big thank you for coming tonight. Well, I believe we all know why we are here. We're not going to do politics. I'm only here to thank you for the confidence repose in me. You know it was a tough but first time that I mean the single man decided to take the government on. I put up a fight with the support of you, but it didn't go the way we wanted or expected. But that doesn't mean we have to give up give up our vision. No. It still continues. We are still party members as well. I'm not leaving the party. I'm still being there. You know, but I'm always happy to see Ghanaians abroad because, you know, you simply get my message because of the exposure you have. And I believe that exposure is the best education any human being can have. If I have a classroom, work with DAD from Ghana, wherever. If you don't travel and see how things are done, trust me, whatever degrees you have will not work. That is why I believe in pragmatism. I mean, black people, black people, we believe in theory. We don't believe in practical things. And I'm here to share this with you because you are in America. America, with all their English, they still believe in practical things. They let things work. If you see the way we train our kids, in our schools, 
it clearly tells you that it is not only the book. From my kids in Lincoln, uh, American University, uh, high school, elementary school, if you go there and you see the things they have over there, they are sewing, they have carpentry, you'll be surprised. Although it's expensive, you think they have to go there and only read the book. But then they don't read only books. They do a lot of things. That is what we are lacking, especially as Ghanaians. I've traveled far and wide, seen how things work, how things are done. I ask questions. Some politicians, they travel and the only thing they think about is the deal. I don't think about the deal. I ask questions. How those countries are developed. Uh, you know, some of these politicians, when we are traveling with them, all they think of is the money, the two thousand dollars per year to go and finish this building. I have so many buildings, I don't need a per year. I need to steal the ideas and bring it to Ghana. So, uh, you know, the people have decided. We haven't given up. I'm not giving up the vision. I believe in my vision because I've seen it work elsewhere. And therefore, I still believe in it that as Ghanaians, we are human beings. And what Indians are doing in Ghana, we can do it. What Lebanese are doing in Ghana, we can do it. What the uh, Chinese are doing in Ghana, we can do it. Ghana is not poor. It's not poor in the sense that if an Indian takes a loan from India and comes to Ghana and now he operates Melbo, making money. When you go to Paris, there's a young man I met on a flight from China to Ghana, Emirates. He engaged me and he said, you know, I think he attended A&M, Texas. And when we finished, the father gave him 300,000 dollars. And this young Lebanese, this year is 40 years. Go and see what this young Lebanese has done. Why can't we do it? How can you sit here and tell me that Ghana is poor? All the steel companies we have in Ghana are owned by Indians, Lebanese, and Chinese. Pals. Pals. We've been in Ghana for so many years, and Chinese have come to set up these industries. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? This is what I try to teach my people. That, look, Ghana is not poor. What we are lacking is good managers. Good managers are our problems. In the sense that if I establish a business and leave it in the care of my brother, all he does is embezzle the funds and build his house. And by the time I open my house, the business has to last. Why is it that I'm drawing your attention to something? All the foreign businesses that are succeeding, they are doing well because they have imported their own nationals to take over the managerial sector. And they are doing well. Ghanaian businesses are not doing well because the Ghanaian managers, I'm sorry, I'll tell you the truth, they will just steal your money. That is why they didn't vote for me. But they know I was going to cut the way. That was Guys, Ghana first will not allow individuals to embezzle the state funds at the expense of the poor country. Unfortunately for them, they embezzle the funds and the only thing they know to do is build the house, build the house, build the house. And we have the youth of the country unemployed. Yesterday, I heard that a lot of Kenyans have gone to UK with a visa or with the intention of going to what? Nursing or whatever profession. 
They charge them as hard as 26,000 pounds. And with that, then they have no jobs. What is wrong with us? I have traveled far and wide, east, west, north, south, down to 275 constituencies that I traveled. God has endowed them with a lot of lands and natural resources. But who to lead us? You need leaders with vision. You don't need leaders who speak English, 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 and cannot put food on your table. You know? Yeah. They will tell you good to see, good to see. Your pocket is empty and they are telling you good to see. All these lands that we have, you need to have time. Visit Ghana, go to the rural areas and see what God has given to us. And we are not tapping it. So I'm not giving up my vision. Whatever I was telling them, all I'm asking you is to pray for me for long life and good health. Now, on the second December, Anna Afafanto party, no, Omo Echo. Walk, uh, yeah, movement for change. Walk, no, omo koe. Na omo krono, ana yehu poste bi ana oma tro se I and my father are one. I and my father are one. Na I and my father are one, no. Ana omo de kani di picture atu inchi. Ana omo de eh alam so di atu inchi. Eno na ni ebisa support es ni bisa na we na no omso I. Kennedy, or by joining and do, or by joining and check or by joining. Now, I know, and I'm saying, Kennedy, who will be no end in terms of no, there be. Say, one share, a fantofo, movement for change, if obey another con one recruit, or about one thing, and I know so, or by a be yano, yenti, the house or kind. The experience we've had through this contest will give us a proper shoulder. <laughs> We are lacking is the leadership, the man who will take the mantle and speak the truth, look at your face and tell you that you are wrong. I'll put you in jail and I'll jail you. I'll jail you. Hey. You give me the opportunity. In, in America here, in America here, if you are late and you are fired from wherever you work. You get Reverend to go and beg for you. You get Queen Mother to go and beg for you. You get Uncle to go and beg for you. It is only Ghana that we have uh, that one. When the person makes a mistake, they have the whole chief. And he, what he has to do is to go and build on your behalf. Ha! This is why they have a problem with me. They will tell me like it is. I will fire you. If you're a minister, you make a mistake, I'll fire you. That's the only way we can change this country. If not, and every, and every, and every, that is why we are where we are. When I first went there, the firing helped me. I fired a lot of people, fired a lot of people. And now I have a good set of people working with me. I'm not 100% perfect, but at least, yes, the discipline is there. They know that can in Japan, he is going to fire you, and nobody can stop him. I'll fire you. You know, so let's have hope. All is not lost. We have, we still have to believe in God. Let's come together as people, believe in ourselves that what any white man has done, the black man, you can do it. So we have to challenge ourselves. And that's the only way we can move on. So nobody should give up. You shouldn't give up because then the Japan lost the supporting him and he lost. No. Uh, maybe this is a preparation. I probably trusted people too much. So now I'm learning. I thought I was perfect. <laughs> With this election, I know I'm not. So I'm learning a lot. So nobody should be worried about whatever happened. If you are an MPP, I'm still an MPP. We'll continue to fight. We are not going to give up. I'll sit in there and make the changes. I will, I'll be in there and make the changes. So you should rest assured that 
uh, there are speculations. So they said December 4th, so Ken Japan is going to make a press conference. I'll be here December 4th. So, <laughs> you know, this type of speculations, uh, I'm not in for that. So if you MDD, you should rest assured that Ken Japan is still at MDD. I'll continue to be MDD. But that affects. If the MPD make a mistake, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, I think it's late. Um, I want to say a big thank you for coming. I mean, you've come in your numbers. Anytime I come to Minnesota, I get a full house. And that's a big compliment. So, I want to say a big thank you to Minnesota and DJ. It's time for you. Thank you very much.